So, so, <laughs> like so an email. It, it's a tough thing. But you don't want to be on the video? Okay. I got this pointed at Jermaine, so go ahead, Sorry. tell the tale. Finish. I, I lost my train of thought now. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> well, ahead, anyway, Ryan, jump in. <laughs> it, okay. Well, it it was a pretty traumatic thing to find a, a woman you just talked to a week ago that had the the very next week had passed away. Yeah. And then the children were left alone there, pretty much with the grandfather, and the place got tore up. Yeah. So. And sometimes it happens. Um, things happen. You know, life happens. So, um, in that case, we had a deposit on file. The owner was able to clean it up and move forward from there. No. Yeah. I think I think property management, there's a lot of things that I don't think people imagine would happen. I mean, like, Jermaine, what would you say is, like, your most memorable experience as when you do a house inspection? I mean, because we've heard some pretty, pretty funny stuff. I don't know if it's uh, each house. You go in this house as a case by case. You know, you don't go in there to judge. You know, everybody lives different. Everybody is raised different, you know, so... For the most part, you go in and, you know, it's a little more, of a, more of a cleanliness thing. You know, you might go in there and, you know, it's like, oh, just step over the dog poop. Or, <laughs> or you know, you, you got just, you know, piles of trash, you know. And it's just sometimes you walk in and it's like you can't get this inspection done fast enough because it's, 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 it could be nasty in there, you know. And like I said, you're not there to judge. You know, it's more of a, um, I would say more of a cleanliness thing, if, if anything. But then he tells us, and that's where we come into place, and we have to deal with the owners or the tenants on that issue, um, on the cleanliness place. Just because he said a lot of people don't know, um, weren't taught the right way to clean or will clean differently than the owner might clean. So it's very important um, for him to let us know so we can handle the matter. So these could possible. be good, actually good tenants to pay on time. Yeah, but it's exactly. just. There's actually a lot of them that are like that. They can be great on paper, but they might just be kind of slobs, I guess. <laughs> okay, so owners don't really want to hear that the place is being trashed. And that's understandable. I would say, uh, looking back to the records, probably 90 to 95% of our rentals are kept very clean. The tenants uh, don't damage them. It's only the 5 well, think of 5% of uh, 500 uh, 10 percent is 50, so that'd be 25. So if we, every month we have 25 rentals that are dirty, and you have to you have to consult with people and tell them, you know, you need to clean that up. That's just part of business, right? Mm -hmm. Absolutely. And so, uh, if people don't comply, what do we do for the owner? What do we do? Technically, we've got to write a report, send out a a 10 day notice, or what do you, what do we do? You know what we do there, Maria? Put you on the spot. Ten day. Ten day. Ten day notice. Of course, ten day. What is a get ten your, day? Get your stuff cleaned up. Ten day notice to comply. So if you're in violation of your rental agreement, whether it's you are not keeping it clean, you have unauthorized pets. Uh, which it's a big one. It's a big one, too, for our inspection. Sometimes, you know... Um, people are having pets that they're not allowed to have and Jermaine goes in and he'll document, you know, I saw these many pets there, cats, dogs, and then they'll, you know, we see that and we'll take a look at their lease and notice, hey, you know, these people are not supposed to have any pets. What's going on with that? But then they argue with you and say it's a service animal. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, how does that work? <laughs> well, they definitely need proof. We need documentation, first of all. Doctor's yeah. note. Yeah. On that. So we've we've had people bring uh, one guy brought in two pit bulls into a condo. So oh, those are service animals, and I said, oh, that's BS. I said, you better show me a a, a doctor's letter from a doctor, and uh, he moved out the next week. I had one that pulled up a service animal report from online, and <laughs> I uh, looked up the website. It was one that you can pay. Oh man. So we had to deny that one. Yeah, pe people do some, I mean, people do some strange things, you know, they try to get over on us. We run a very strict um, uh, inspection on, on applicants uh, screening, and so it's $50 for screening per adult, and sometimes they'll have uh, people living there that are over 18, and they'll say, oh, they're 16 or something, and we know they're not, and we call, we have to call it, you know, and say, no, that, that ain't going to happen today. 
So um, we we uh, we sort out. We try to sort out um, the bad egg, so to speak. Uh, we've had people uh, pull a lot of stuff on us. We never lose a lawsuit, though. Occasionally, we have to go to court. I will sue somebody in a minute if I feel like they've been uh, damaging my company, damaging our owners' homes, or doing anything like that. Didn't you have a Didn't you have an employee that was doing that before? I have, oh. yeah, you, I, I don't know his name. We don't have to mention names, but uh, tell us a little bit about that. That was what was he doing? Remind me what you're talking about. He said you had an employee that was just um, disgruntled or something. Was it? Couple, couple oh, things. Oh, you mean yeah? Okay, so I I had this guy. Okay, <laughs> I I don't want to mention names, but. I had a guy that uh, I found walking down the street with his wife, two small children, and carrying all their baggage. Yeah, I, I helped bring them to one of the apartments. You remember that? I do. So I stopped. Well, I couldn't. My heart went out. I couldn't help it. So I stopped and I talked to the guy. He says, hey, I just thought I'd give him 20 bucks for some food or something. But I got to talk to him, and he's real handy with repairing and maintenance and all these things. I just happened to need a guy. I said, wow, man, maybe I can give you a job, you know. So... Uh, and we were remodeling these apartment complex where there's 36 units and 18 were vacant. I told the owner, I'm going to get these other 18 vacants filled up. So he needed a place to stay. I put him in one of those uh, units. And he cleaned it up, fixed it up real nice, you know. And uh, he was a pretty good employee for quite a while. I got him transportation and a lot of stuff. Got him out of jail. Huh? <laughs> Well, you bailed him out of jail a couple of times? I did bail him out of jail a couple of times. I did. I, I, I guess I don't learn the first time. But, you know, but he's a good worker. He was doing good work until he didn't, <laughs> you know. Oh, no. But these things happen, you know. It, I, I've had owners that turned out to be really not good, not good people, don't, you know. You always seem to give somebody a chance, you know. You always, whether an employee, a tenant, an owner, you always try to give them a chance at first. Um, and so many chances they run out, and then we can't, obviously, we, we can't took, have them anymore. Well, we took 85 homeless seniors off the streets of Tacoma. Got housing for them. 85 all in one year. And so we try to, we're working with a uh, Catholic Community Services, Associated Ministries, Helping Hands, and other uh, organizations, Tacoma Housing, and so on. Uh, we really want to help people, you know, but on the other hand, our number one employee, uh, I mean, uh, duty, fiduciary duty, is to the owner. So we have to look out for the owner's property. Owners don't want their home sitting vacant for a long time. They're losing money. They have a mortgage to pay. And I remind tenants, this owner has a mortgage to pay. you got to get a payment in on time. So uh, we really push that pretty hard. Yeah, and that's where the 10-day notices come back into play. So if we see something where they're not complying with the rental agreement, we will post that notice on their door, and then they have 10 days to fix that issue, whether it's to get rid of the dogs, get proper documentation, clean up their house, or just stop disturbing their neighbors, if that's the case as well for uh, nuisance. So, um, yeah, I mean, I think there's a lot of stuff that's involved that uh, I think people don't really consider, possibly, and they just think we're collecting all the money. But Well, that's why we regulated, uh, not a good screening, but we have an inspector. That, that's all Jermaine does, inspect uh, properties, gets out there and makes sure that they're good to go and uh, protect our owners. All right, I'm thirsty. <laughs> I'm going to go down and get a drink here real quick. It's Thirsty Thursday. Is it Thirsty <laughs> Thursday? <laughs> oh, no, girl's here. <laughs>